Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about the remove range method in the ArrayList class. I'm going to open up my website javacjava.com, select begin and scroll all the way down to the ArrayList remove range method. The remove range method removes all records beginning at the from index, right? So we've got the signature up here, right? Of course, the method name remove range, and then two parameters, from index to index, and they're both primitive int types. Um, so, moves all records at the from index all the way up to, but not including the element at to index. Now, the remove range method is the strangest method in the ArrayList class. And I say this because it has the protected access modifier applied. Now that means we cannot invoke this method on in an instance of an array list because our class is not part of the java.util package. Now this seems very strange to me, but there is a way we could get around this limitation. Now there is also a little more to this anomaly that I'll explain in the video. Let's come down here and highlight all the source code here. Control C to copy. I'm doing a lot of stuff with this actually, this small amount of source code today. Or you can right click, select copy. I'm going to move the browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new, shortcut, CMD, next, and finish. It's just that easy. All right, I'm going to go and open that up. Type in Java C, which is a Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. Now, however, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. I want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory here called Java with the MD command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, I'm going to go ahead and create it for you. I'm going to make another directory here called uh, array list remove all, or remove range, sorry. Change directories to that folder here. And I'm going to notepad array list remove range.java. That's going to be the name of my source code file, also known as a compilation unit. All right, so you control V to paste or right click and select paste. Okay, so fairly simple here. I'm importing the java.util package and all everything inside of it there with the wildcard there. One single class, main method entry point. The first thing I'm doing is basically declaring a um, an array list here, and it's limited, limiting all its elements to the string class. And states, of course, is the uh, reference variable there. And then I'm using the collections um, class and invoking the add all method, passing it the states array list here as the parameter and populating it with all these values. Okay, and then I'm just going to display that to the console. I'm going to comment out this line right here. Let's go ahead and just save this and let's clear our screen. Compile this and run it. Okay, so we get states and then that's what we've got in there, right? So all in all fairly simple there so far. So if we wanted to just basically call the, the remove range based on the uh, you know, this up here, what's going to happen is because it's protected, we're going to get an error. And it's the only method in the ArrayList class there that is protected. So um, let's go ahead and just uncomment this and I'll show you what happens. <clears throat> okay, so we get um, error. Remove range has protected access in ArrayList. So we cannot directly invoke it on, you know, the instance of our ArrayList here because um, this basically, we're, we're basically members of the default or no name package, right? Because I haven't declared a, a package statement up here, you know, like package, you know, whatever, right? Um, so we're not part of the java.util package, so it will, we can't directly invoke that because it's protected there on an instance. So how can we get around this? Well, what we can do is we can come up here and we can extend um, array list, right? 
And then we can come down here and instead of making an array list object, we'll make an array array list remove range, right? Make an object of our of our current class right here. And of course now because we have this this you know basically with this generic syntax here we need to turn this into a you know a generic class here I'll just put in like e for element there and that'll work all right so this is going to go ahead and we'll be able to go ahead and compile this here there it is going to tell us give us some warnings there right it uses unchecked or unsafe operations and that's absolutely correct this isn't the best idea in the way to do this here but um, now let's see we'd want to display it after we remove it here so let's go ahead and save this here and let's clear our screen and run it okay so you can see here's our original um, array list all the elements in there and then after the remove range now it removed basically zero to three now remember it said um, you know, it starts at the index number zero. So here's zero, one, two, and three. So it does not remove the one at the third index there, right? So just starting to ending, but not, not part of that ending one there, okay? So that's how we can get around that. Now the, um, let's just undo all that stuff here. Cause that's, that's not really a good idea because there is, you know, unsafe operations, unchecked stuff there. Don't worry about all the details on that right at the moment there. But let's go ahead and just put this back to the, the way it was before here. And let's go ahead and comment out this line and comment out this line. Okay, so the kind of the official workaround here for this, for, for removing a range is to invoke the sublist method and then invoke the clear method on you know the, the return value of basically invoking the sublist here, right? Um, it's a little strange. That's why I say this is the strangest method in here. And this this to me is even a little bit more bizarre here. I'm not entirely sure the reasons why that, but that's the uh, the official documentation here. And the uh, if we come over to the array list class here, right? Um, go down to all of its methods and we've got of course remove range protected void as you can see and um, we come down here to this sublist one I haven't done sublist yet but um, basically we click on sublist it specifically says right here that uh, you know if you want uh, an operation that expects list can be used as a range operation by passing a sublist instead of a whole list right so um, for example the following idiom removes a range of elements from a list so you could see by invoking the sublist um, method here, right, from and to, and then calling the dot clear on it really is the way to, the preferred method of doing that. I'm not sure why, and it's a little, a little convoluted to me. I wish the thing would just kind of work as, you know, without being protected. But anyway, so let's go ahead and save this here. And let's go ahead and, let's clear our screen, let's recompile. Whoops, I need to take this extends array list out of there. That's early in the morning doing weird stuff, I tell ya. Okay, compile that and rerun it there. Okay, so you can see um, original list and after, you know, calling the sublist 0, 3. Same same sort of thing there. It'll do starting at index 0, 1, 2 and three, right? But it won't actually clear out the third one there. So to remove it. So that's basically how that works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that and leave you guys with just a quick final thought there. So just to reiterate, I'm not sure why this method is protected, but just keep in mind the workaround if you ever have the need to use, you know, such a feature as removing a range of records there like that. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.